So you may be having some issues with your iPhone home screen where for some reason there's a ton of ghost touches. Now what are ghost touches? Essentially it's when your touch screen starts doing random things whenever you actually go ahead and pretty much are never using it. So if I were to leave my iPhone here, if the screen would you know randomly twitch like this or if it would just you know keep going like this for example or if I'm on like the app store for example and if it would just like click on a random thing without me even clicking it these are considered ghost touches and they are very, very common. Now the number one reason, or at least the way that I typically fix it, as long as it's not a hardware problem, basically if you went ahead and you threw your phone randomly or if you dropped it on its head or in its face, and if it's not working then, then that probably is a hardware issue, meaning you cannot fix it basically with the ways that I'm demonstrating in this video. But if it just randomly happened and you don't recall dropping your phone or anything, the first thing I would try to tell you is did you randomly submerge your iPhone in water and or did you recently put a screen protector on your iPhone? If you put a bunch of water on your iPhone at one time, a lot of iPhones are water resistant, some aren't if you have an older one. So what you can actually do here and the first thing I'd recommend doing is cleaning off your iPhone screen as thoroughly as you can. So grab some sort of microfiber cloth, try to clean out the display that way. That's one thing I'd probably recommend doing. If that doesn't fix it, you may want to double check you don't have a screen protector on your device. Personally, this is something that's happened to me a few times. And sometimes when I go ahead and put a screen protector on my device, I actually I accidentally have some moisture, maybe some water on the background of my iPhone. And randomly, if there's too much, it's not going to work out properly. So you may have to remove your specific screen protector. On top of that, if you even put your screen protector on your iPhone a long time ago, you may want to make sure there's not a lot of bubbles and a lot of moisture within that panel itself. So you may want to move your panel around a little bit and just see if there's a lot of, you know, moisture bubbles basically on the screen protector. That's another thing I ran into quite a bit of time, and that's something that happens to me, you know, every so often. It doesn't really affect the display too much for me, but sometimes, you know, if you have your iPhone in the shower and stuff and the moisture gets underneath, that can cause some issues too. Now, if that doesn't work, another thing I recommend doing is actually going through and updating your iPhone. So what you can do here is make your way over to your iPhone home screen like this or your settings panel. You want to scroll down into general, which is right here. What you want to do here is you want to go and click on software update. And at this point, you want to see if there's an update available for your phone. So you can see we're on iOS 15.5. If you're watching this in the future, there's going to be another version of software available, 16, iOS 17, iOS 18 in the future. So what you want to do here is you want to go and click download and install. And this is going to download and install the latest version of software on your iPhone. And this may also end up fixing the problem if it's a humongous screen issue like that. And if it's plaguing a bunch of devices, if you have an iPhone 12, there's been a lot of, you know, little display issues like that too. And updating your iPhone is another thing I would recommend doing. If that still doesn't work, you may want to go and double check that, you know, you didn't drop your phone again. And you may want to contact Apple if it's still not working. But that pretty much covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.